say that I wasn't going So, so I got my armor on, and GA West has my old armor on. How does the whole thing feel? I feel like Robocop. Okay. So. Can you can you move in? Yeah, I can definitely move. I mean, it's not an optimal range of motion, but all things considered, much, much more than I would expect. You'll notice the chest there. It rides high to cover your chest breastbone, and so that the waist is high at waist level, giving you uh, mobility there. Try bending back, right, left, forward, and so forth. So, yes. You have a good range of motion there? Definitely. Definitely good range of motion, uh, especially front to back. Lift your legs up. Let's see how that is. Like, just walk around. Okay. Um, for regular walking, uh, as you can see, I'm kind of, uh, I don't know what you say, bow-legged. <laughs> um, but I mean, as you can see, if I need to, if I can, I can exaggerate the movements, and then I get that range of motion. But if I just try to walk without exaggerating and putting effort, it gives it more of a uh, kind of side-to-side, -side humpy dumpy feel. Okay, how about lifting your legs? Like lifting your high knees, like if you're going upstairs. You capable of doing that? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, for going upstairs, shouldn't be a problem at all. The uh, thigh plates are too long for you because they were made for me. Yes, uh, yeah. yeah, you have an extra four inches or so on me. And also the belt was made for someone with a waist just a couple of inches longer than you, so it's probably not hanging dead center like it should. So there we go, so yeah, so that explains all of that. But otherwise, though, you know, it's all good. <laughs> a lot of the armor in the SCA, believe it or not, is made off the rack for efficiency. So that way, one size fits the most people it can, with the expectation that people will adjust the straps of the armor to fit themselves. This armor is great because these front plates here can fold in on each other, thereby giving you greater flexibility. The articulations, of course, allow for complete motion of the arms and shoulders in all directions. These legs did happen to be my size, so I have complete range of motion in all directions in just about any direction I would want to move. Captain, I got to ask, you said, you know, the armor is made to fit most, most people that it can. I've seen some of the videos now from Penzik, and we're talking about a wide range of bodies from easily 140 pounds to 340 pounds. So how do you explain that? Most armorers that I know of will make their small, mediums, and larges. Okay, so and it's not one size fits all. Right. Notice how this particular cuirass is made up of several plates. By the yes. addition or subtraction of extra plates, it could fit larger or smaller people. Let's try the chainmail quaff on you, because that hat's just not going to fly at Penzik. <laughs> Is my head supposed to come through it? That, that, your head could come through it if you really wanted to, but what's more important <laughs> Is that the face gets centered. There you go. Now you look like Scott Steiner. Awesome. And with this extra armor on, I probably weigh about as much now. So have you picked a persona name yet? I have not picked a persona name yet. Uh, leaning towards perhaps Gaius Augustus of, uh, what did we say, Winchesterio? Or Wessex or Winchester or something like that. Something along those lines. But, um, you know, still got a couple weeks to go, so plenty of time to fine tune. If you people out there have any suggestions or recommendations, something based on what you know of me from what you've seen of these videos and my personality, I'd be more than happy to take any suggestions or recommendations you may have for a, what would be the uh, term, Captain, a uh, proper medieval name? Yeah, so for a proper medieval name. So send your suggestions in. So yeah, Captain, I've got to say, I'd really be interested to know what is the level of athletic conditioning participants in the sport are at prior to getting involved with something like the SCA. And the reason why I ask that is, I've had this armor on for maybe 10, 15 minutes now at the most, and my legs are already cramping up from having to use my thigh muscles just to hold my body up in this armor. What did you say this stuff weighs, about 50, 60 pounds? Um, most suits average between 40 and 60 pounds, yes. 40 and 60, so yeah, and I'm a 175 pound guy. That's nearly a third of my body weight. And you're very fit. I'd like to think so, you know, and most people's perception when you think of uh, people who are involved in such things as creative reenactment, 
uh, things of that nature, you don't think of them as being fit or, you know, the type to uh, go out and participate in sports. But I can already tell you, you have to be some type of athlete, some type of warrior to wear this stuff and actually do anything in it. <laughs> Never give, mind full fighting. Well, give me some uh, of your fitness stats. I can bench 225 for a couple reps. I can deadlift 315. I can squat 275 for a couple I've never fully challenged myself on distance, but I can run a five-minute mile. Yet, in less than ten minutes, you're already cramping and fatiguing. Exactly. From using your muscles to hold yourself up. And that's just for standing around. Fantastic.